G'day! In today's video, I'm replacing the display in a HP ProBook 450G8. Hopefully you can read the model number there. It's a very hard font to read under this colour. Uh, nah, it's about as good as you'll get. So what we're going to want to do is open it up, hopefully fully, or as wide as it can go, like this. And we're going to want to pull the trim from the inside out. So it does take a little bit, it do require a bit of force. If you can heat up the back of the screen, that will help as well. I'm going to start with a metal pry tool and just find a groove that I can start, if it will let me, as I currently have no fingernails. So typically you might be able to get a fingernail or two under there to start it off. There we go, Bring the pry tool there. If I lift it, twist it so it pushes it up, should hopefully detach. Get another pry tool in there now that I've started. And that. There we go. So that has started to lift it up there. Proceed around it. I'm pulling up here and sliding across at the same time. It's like a knife cutting. Go, get it in this way as well. Now sometimes I find there is usually an adhesive strip running along this black section here. But we'll see how we go here. Yep, you can hear that tape. Go, and I should be able to lift this up down here. It's kind of going to get over the hinges. just in here to lift this bit up. No, it's been a bit stubborn. As you can see, we can fold it out of the way here. And looking in the top corners, here, this little white bit here, and same with over here, there's also another strip down the bottom here, and also another one over here. These are the pull tabs. If you heat up the screen on the back, they should pull out a bit easier. So we'll give it a shot, hopefully all goes well. I'm just going to leave this dangling, as it is in the way, but I can still work around it. So I'm going to grab that like that. See this weird stretchy thing? I'll zoom in. And if I grab that again, like so. Go, got that. Now you want to pull pretty much parallel with the screen. You don't want to pull it straight up and out, you want to pull it towards the top, like that. And with a bit of luck, most of it will come out. That's not quite all of it. Go down the bottom now. Have a try there too. I think it snapped halfway. I'm not sure if it's four individual pieces. Well, if it's two big ones and that did just snap, but we'll find out when we get in. If you're hearing that sound, it's probably going to snap. As you can see, it's sneaking through the side of the screen here. And I have another section. And that should be able to lift up. Yep. I can lift that up now. We go over to the other side and repeat. Do make sure your system is fully switched off. There we go, so it is four individual pieces, so you do have to work around each corner. But yeah, make sure your system is switched off completely. Hit spacebar once you've powered it off, make sure it doesn't wake up, or else you may potentially blow the backlight out driver on your screen, and you'll have a screen that won't display properly. And that is on the main board, not the screen itself. So if that does happen, oops, that's broke on me. There we go. You can see down here, we have adhesive. Take that out of the way. And I'll lay this down flat. Now I'll try and get this out of the way for me. 
It's being very stubborn. Slide this other one across like that. Disconnected. And I've just hit the power button, which is not what we want on. Press hold. Hold this button for about 10 seconds, or possibly 15. There we go. With that slight burst at the end there, we should be completely powered off. Nothing's happening when I press keys. Just to sit from my cupper and fold this over. And what we want to focus on is here. We've got to take this off and disconnect the panel. There we go. This little latch will lift up and go back like so. And for those playing at home, basically ignore this sticker and search this model number here. We should be able to get a compatible part. Basically, there's quite a few different screen manufacturers that will work on here with its smaller 30 pin connector here. Well, basically, as long as the screen's got that, it's 15.6 inch, six inch and it's frameless, it should fit in. You can potentially do a re upgrade of your resolution to a higher gloss. Don't think you can change to a higher resolution though. So quickly Googling that, it comes up as a 15.6 uh, inch, which we already know, 720p panel. So this can be upgraded to a 1080 resolution panel. And hopefully I may have one on hand already. Now I've got my panel. This one took me about one week to get it. it turns out I didn't have any in stock. We have the N56HCA-5B. This one's a 1920 by 1080 resolution panel. And as you can see, we are, we have the bottom section of here built onto the back of the LCD. Most LCDs, this bit hangs lower down here. In this instance, it's built into it. So the actual installation of it's basically exactly, well, is the reverse of what we've just done. So we should get to fold this up. Try and zoom you guys in on here. And we will need to put some double-sided tape down. Go. This little latch goes over here, we fold it, and this bit here slides under. That makes sense. Tilt this up a bit. Slide it in. A bit difficult with the tape over the top of it. One side. Over and that latch goes around the outside there. You should let the fold this over the top, smooth it out. That should keep it connected. Now I want to put some double sided tape on the sides. And from there, we'll fold it back, put the cover on it, and we should be pretty close to finished. What you can do now before you stick it down is you can potentially test it out just to make sure everything's A OK. -OK. I'm going to be pretty confident this panel is going to be perfectly fine, so I'm not going to worry about doing that. Double sided tape along here. And some more on the other side. Over here. And that one. That one. Fold it over. Make sure this bit down here is still underneath all the tabs and out of the way. 
should just be able to lower it in, push it around so it matches up where it needs to go. There we go. Feed that along, along. Peel this off just slightly. I like to peel it up just a little bit just so I can get the screen around it or the trim to go around it first. And take this back up down here. Fold this out of the way, push down, start locking it into position. And then just work my way around pinching it. Keep putting pressure around it, just to make sure everyone's in its position. Close it. Check along here as well to make sure that that is nice and snug. And from there, all going well, your ProBook should hopefully have a new screen installed. Remember where the power button is on this one? We should see a HP logo, like that. Now, I'll cover it up due to privacy reasons, but hopefully you have a good working screen too. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.